testing En-ROADS relevance to policymakers. So when we test En-ROADS, it's essential that we test it relative to its purpose. So what's the purpose of En-ROADS? We've laid it out here. Improve decision maker understanding of climate dynamics. And I would add energy, land, agriculture, climate related equity as a means to effective action. Improve understanding and decision makers as a means to effective action. So it is not enough to have a model that we think is robust and sound and captures the dynamics well, period. To meet this purpose, it has to also be effective at improving decision maker understanding. Therefore, one of the tests that you should do is, is it actually effective at that? And the relevance and utility of the model to those people whom we're trying to reach is paramount. So as you can imagine, we have done a lot of work to test this with policymakers. Here's a shot of Jonathan Pershing and we've tested it a lot with him and many other policymakers. And I remember in actually this meeting where he saw the model and he said, oh, can you show me gas, carbon capture and storage. What if we had more of that? And at that point, this was years ago, uh, we didn't. <laughs> and he said, well, for this to be relevant to me as a policymaker and I think others, I think you should have that. So we went home and we added it. Uh, that's what we mean. We have to keep testing and improving the model by sharing it with policymakers. It's not enough to have a model that just tracks the science and the dynamics well. For us, we have to have an interface, a scope, a level of disaggregation, the kind of sliders that will meet the goal of being relevant to policymakers so it can meet the purpose of improving their decision-maker understanding. Hope that was helpful. Go get them.